Hello and welcome back to CoffeeNate.com. I am so glad you joined me this week. I am Nate Smith, otherwise known as Coffee Nate, and I am going to show you how to use a mocha pot, how to brew coffee properly in a mocha pot, otherwise known as an Italian stovetop espresso maker, although it does not actually brew espresso because it doesn't generate enough pressure to um, actually call it espresso. So anyway, it is, it, what it does do is make an excellent cup of coffee and I'm going to show you how to do that today. The mocha pot, here it is, consists of three parts. There's the top chamber, which has a screen bottom filter and a spout like so. The bottom portion, kind of like the uh, same, um, same idea as the siphon pot that I've showed you before, the bottom portion is filled with water and uh, there's a fill line just below the steam valve. And you can see it right there in this pic. Okay, so you fill that with water just below the steam valve. Use, and as with any other brewing method, use um, fresh, clean water, filtered or otherwise treated to give you some good brewing. Uh, nasty water will produce nasty coffee no matter what you do. All right, so the bottom portion is filled with water. The center portion is where the coffee is brewed, and you, you use a, a grind that is slightly finer than your normal auto drip uh, grind. So freshly ground coffee, which I just ground here just seconds ago in my gravel grinder, conical burr grinder, to give me that precision um, um, uniform uh, grind. And that's what I'm going to use today. And this center portion has to be totally filled with coffee because how the extraction occurs is between the two screens, the screen filters, but also uh, there's some pressure aspect to it because you fill this, completely fill this with, with uh, grounds. And as the coffee gets saturated with water, it's the ground swell and, and uh, pressure is created, which aids in the extraction. Now, you can't... Uh, make a half a pot. You can't make uh, less than this uh, because what happens is the grounds just float around in the water and proper extraction will not occur. So you really have to uh, make sure that you get the right size for you, the right size mocha pot. They come in various sizes, 2 to, I don't know, 12 cups. So just make sure you, you're ordering the right size. And uh, I'm going to give you a little demo on how I brew coffee in my mocha pot. Okay, so as you see here, I have the bottom portion filled with water already, and you just slip this this middle portion inside. Um, I'm going to get my fresh ground coffee, which today is the Ethiopia Sadama Natural from Social. This uh, brewing method really brings out the berry flavor out of this coffee, and it just uh, really um, highlights the great flavors about it. I just I push it down just slightly as I'm putting it in here and uh, level it off so that you can have even extraction throughout the basket. So I'm just leveling and it's really important to make sure you don't have any any grounds around this outside edge so that it doesn't get screwed down and, and um, block the, the seal. Now here's a little tip that I'm going to show you. Just put an extra mound there in the center. That will help with um, creating more pressure and um, it brews a, a nice rich pot this way. So there we have it. It's clean around the edges and then you just simply screw down this top. Make sure it's nice and secure so that the pressure builds up and doesn't and the water doesn't shoot out the sides there like that. That's not what you want. So you just sit there and let this brew and um, use a, a medium heat. So about five to six minutes the coffee will be ready. Okay so as you can see the, the coffee is starting to brew now. Um, you can see how just how rich that is. So what I recommend is that while you are brewing your coffee, that that you actually um, boil a kettle as well, because this is like double strength. And then uh, 
you can you can drink it that way if that's how you prefer but um, most people like to mix it half and half with the hot water After the brewing is complete, look at that beautiful rich coffee. Fill your mug about halfway up. Take your kettle. And just fill it with water to the desired strength. I don't do quite half and half, just a little bit underneath. And there's your freshly brewed mocha pot of coffee. Making coffee in a mocha pot is really easy to do. It's pretty much dummy proof. As long as you have great beans that are freshly roasted and you use a good burr grinder, um, you pretty much can't screw up after that. For those of you who are on Twitter, I want to connect with you on Twitter. You can find me at twitter.com slash coffee nate. And you can also hook up with me on Facebook. My Facebook page is facebook.com slash coffee nate one, the number one. So you can hook up with me there and uh, they'll give you great chances to win some uh, free coffee this month from Social Coffee. And every month I give away some coffee to uh, some lucky viewers just to say thank you to you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for checking out my site, for watching these stupid videos. And hopefully that you've learned something about coffee. Um, this month, Social Coffee is going to give uh, some, some of their coffee away to five lucky viewers. So you can get your entries in by hooking up with me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Join the email list, leave comments on any blog post at coffeenate.com, click the tweet buttons, and you get entries for all that different kinds of stuff. So just interact with me. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Whether you are drinking chock full of nuts right now and you want to know uh, how to get started with specialty coffee, or you want to know what the best type of vac brewer is. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. And be sure to check us out next week at coffeenate.com where there's always something brewing.